What's up guys, Frisbee here for another edition of Scrap Mechanic, uh, or in this instance, Crap Mechanic. Uh, what, what we are looking at here is the beginnings of a, a loop the loop uh, very similar to the one I made in the Siege, but this one is, uh, the angle was too tight and it's all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things, I'm going to stop this one and I'm going to rebuild the whole thing from scratch. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to go from this kind of voiceover, which is in post, and I'm going to record my voice live, something I've had difficulty with in the past. So just let me know uh, what you think of the commentary after uh, after I give you the go ahead and um, we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, this is going to be an adventure. Thanks guys, three, two, one, go. All right, about that? Yeah, oh. it doesn't need to be any high on that. We'll make it three wide from the... I hope it's put two and too many of them really here. I want to cover. I want to see what it's like recording live as I come up with my systems for doing this because I don't know really how I'm doing it. I've got a rough idea. But, uh, I think this should be enough. We'll just leave that at that just now. It's just for effect. Okay, right. So the first one can come off of the actual machine itself, the actual deck itself. That's not a problem. Right, I'm going to stick up there, put our bad boy here, or here. Put one of these on. Connect the debris to the thing. Oops. No. What am I doing? Like that. See? Now what you do is you just grab that and you fix it to the one. Two, three. Pump in ten degrees. Is that ten degrees positive or might it be ten degrees positive? There we go. Hold on shift and go ten over. Yeah, I reckon ten. That'd be pretty high, that'd be thirty-six sections to do a full loop, so that's gonna be pretty high. Probably too high. Probably get away with 15 or maybe more, but for now, while we're experimenting here. Right, so this is what you would do to do it uh, different to the way I did it before, whereas every section will now have a, a grounding in. Let's just not do it that way. Let's do it with the blocks alone. Not entirely sure if this is going to work because there's a lot of load going on to each bearing here. But, um, I'm sure we'll find a way. So this is what I mean by graphing. If I come down here, no, that's not going to be one. You don't worry about that. You're looking for um, you're looking for the next suit, most suitable point to make a smooth arc. Yeah, I'm jumping about all over the place here. So I'll just put a few up. And you don't put a few up normally, but what you would, what I'm trying to say here is which one is in line most with the change, it changes dramatically as it goes up. And see, originally I thought that one or that one, but it's actually that one, and you test it just by putting on a beam. Dusty, yeah? And if you can see anything sticking out either side, then it's no good. That's pretty good. Okay. So that means we've got a gap to fill, but that's all right. We don't, we're not worried about that. And what we do now is we put... See, this is another problem that I discovered when I'm making the railways, is getting these things to sit right on the edges of them is tricky at best. So you have to employ a couple of tricks. And there's one trick, and there's two tricks. So now it forces, or it should force, the, the landing the square to go to hit that. There you go. There you go, that's what we're after. So you forced it onto the bearing by putting these guides in. Oh, I'm making myself motion sick, not about you. I'm sure when I was building the railway I was able to do it. Um, right, figure it all out, that should snap too. And now we just give this guy 10 degrees positive. Positive means something different. Oh yeah, okay, I get you, I get you. We should have been there. So we need to go 20. 
yeah, this this way will be compound curves. Let's go compound curves. I'm talking complete and utter compound curves. Something else altogether. There, that's it. Don't know if this is going to work. The system. Hmm. Just to prove the point, you can anchor, you cannot anchor uh, an angled piece, I'll show you, it's just not possible. You go like that, you go like that, and you'll get it up orange, it won't anchor, see? Whereas around here, if I go like that, and then do this, I can drive it into the ground as much as I want. So, there you go. But, there's things you can do, like for instance, you can uh, put blocks under it. Which give it a modicum of support. Helps a bit. I do that in the railways a lot. Oh, why are you not taking? Ah, oh, because you're cutting in. So it's good. Anyway, um, is that right? Okay. So now it's um, where to put the dot time. Like I so said, you can use the, the tiles as graphs, or you can just put a bunch of them on. Well, that one looks as if it's going to be sweet. No, not definitely not that one, but we'll just give that one a go. Box time. Oops. Somebody asked me the other day what I use the boxes for. And you'll see. I just build platforms about all over the place. That looks okay, but I think it could be better. the uh, 10 degrees was wrong, so you can't suddenly, oh, fuck, that's going to be huge. Ooh. And you need thrusters to hold you on there. I think that's big, isn't it? So this, this might be getting abandoned as well. We might be going for 20 degrees. But did right then, so here we are. We changed it to 20 degrees, yeah? And we'll use that external system still. Um, so, as you can see, we've got an awful lot of boxes about the place now. It's still a very tight um, turn. But I'm thinking what I will do now is I will uh, get rid of the boxes and make a sort of box elevator thing. Right, so here we are a little bit later on and I've built myself a super duper access platform that is actually quite rubbish to be honest. Um, but you'll see, a bit of a laugh. Jump up here, here, what? Staying on it is the hardest thing. In fact, what I'll do is I'll pull back out of that's it because you need to move around. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Back a little bit, my man, and then it's away. There you go. So you want to fall off all the time, but uh, it's not very good. It gets me up to this one height, but that's the only place it gets me to. Everyone else is in the middle. It was sheer folly. Let's have a look at it. That's it there. It's mental as anything. Let's see. Pointless. I'd probably just better building a scaffolding around the whole thing. Or access platforms, proper ones. Okay, so I lied. I thought I was just going to go and build a car, but instead I decided to build a really permanent scaffolding structure so that we could um, stop messing about and get on with things. So it's uh, looking good. It's not taking long at all to build. So I thought I'd just show you a little section of it. How it works. Um, it's really easy. You just go up here. You drop in. It's literally going to take you minutes to put this up. Drop that in. Connect it to a gizmo controller before you put the thing on it and then put the thing on it. Mm -hmm. Come on man. There we go. And now I'll just double back. Alright. 
does seem like overkill this, but it was a lot of fun to do, so what the hell. Uh, it's drooping, so I need to catch it before it goes too much. There you go. Uh, missing it. I got it. I always get a little flurry in my stomach. I got it in Minecraft as well when I jump off a height. I have to get that. Oh my god, I'm jumping off a height. I'll just do it anyway. Yeah. There you go. One quick and easy access platform. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, switch off this time and definitely going to build the car to test this thing out. Okay, here we go. We've got a nice little blue car. And we are looking at the... It looks like a vertical wall from here, isn't it? And we're just going to hit it. Look at that. I'm almost ready for another go. I think this is a gore, man. I think we're going to win this one. Short a run up, see what happens. Yep, still got it. Whoa. Oh, hits the gantry and he's off. He's out of here. Guys, that wasn't bad, huh? Come on, that really wasn't bad. What else can we try just before we finish up for the day? Yeah. This all coming together. Now, I'm going to dump that. You tell I've been drinking coffee now because I'm getting things right. You know, uh, yeah, we'll go inside the guy's head and see what it looks like from here. This will be a laugh. Oh, yes, that was a great angle. 